We are all together in this fight. Fight for your freedom. Thank you, Jai Hind. Sanaleva Manipur Neyayfri. Speaking of future generations, it is our pleasure to have here with us today youth climate activist and special envoy for the president of Timor Leste, Lisi Priya Kangujam. Lisi, the floor is yours. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Kurum Jari Namaste. My name is Lisa Priya Kangujam. I'm 12 years old, Indian climate activist and founder of the child movement. I'm the special envoy for the president of Timor Leste. And my blood belongs to Maite tribe of Northeastern India called Manipur. Children are dying due to starvation in Ethiopia. Children are dying due to air pollution and heat wave crisis in India. Children are dying due to flash floods in Africa. And children are out of school to fetch water from a very long distance in my own village. You see, millions of children like me are losing their lives, losing their parents and their homes due to climate disasters. This is real climate emergency. And sacrificing the lives of the millions of innocent children for the failures of our leaders is unacceptable at any cost. And instead of spending billions of dollars on wars, if we spend it on ending hunger, giving education, and fighting climate change, then what a wonderful place our earth would be. It's time for the rich nations to pay for the loss and damage to the global south. Today's climate crisis is caused by the rich nations and we are just the victims of it. We deserve climate justice now and each and every climate crisis affects our food security. Latest IPCC report clearly mentions that climate crisis is caused by human activities but it's really caused by our leaders due to lack of political wills. Our leaders still don't panic about the climate crisis. What they panic is throwing a tomato soup on a sunflower art and arresting and silencing the voice of the indigenous right activists who are defending our planet. Remember, there is no value of an expensive art, luxurious car, a beautiful home, or a lot of money on a dead planet. If there is no nature, then there will be no food. If there is no nature, then there will be no growth. If there is no nature, then there will be no security. And if there's no nature, then there will be no future for us. Our governments must work together to manage a just transition away from coal, oil and gas, which are the top causes of today's climate crisis. Your action today will decide our future tomorrow. My generation is already the victims of climate crisis. I don't want my future generations to face the same consequences again because of your inaction and empty false promises. We will not allow history to be written by big polluters and greedy politicians who choose profit over our own planet. And 
and it is our duty to protect our mother nature from them who refuse to see her true beauty. You can call me crazy, but I believe that we should have the basic rights to clean air to breathe, clean water to drink, and clean planet to live. We will continue to fight until we achieve our goals. We are unstoppable, another world is possible, and change is possible. Well, a lot of people talk about freedom. But what is real freedom? Freedom is when you can protect your land and environment. Freedom is when you can protect your children's future, culture, and health. Freedom is when you can read and write. Freedom is when no one can discriminate you on the basis of caste, creed, color, sex, or any other differences. Freedom is when you're out of hunger. Freedom is when we are all together in this fight. Fight for your freedom. Thank you, Jehan Sanaleva Manipurne Aifre. Thank you once again. Thank you.